Have you ever wondered if there's a flavor difference between something fermented in a bucket versus a glass carboy or stainless steel? In today's video, we're gonna talk about that and put it to the test. So let's get started. All right, so this test is super simple. I saw this on Brewlosophy with beer, and I thought, well, they didn't do it with mead, so let's talk about mead. Essentially, this is testing to see for fermentation, not aging, fermentation side, if you were to ferment in a plastic bucket versus a glass carboy or a stainless steel vessel, if there'd be a flavor difference, noticeable difference. So what we did to do this test was we literally made a, a big batch of must, which is of course the honey water mixture. We split it into the three carboys, into, I say carboys, three vessels, a plastic bucket, which had lots of headspace on it, a um, glass carboy, a one gallon glass carboy, and then I have a one gallon, um, or it's actually 1.3 gallon stainless steel, like keg, essentially. We threw yeast in, we threw yeast nutrient in. This brew was somewhere in the realm of like 1080 starting gravity. So it's like a 10%, 10.5% brew. And uh, we let them ferment. I let them sit in their perspective vessel and go through the whole fermentation process over the course of a month. They started to clear up, at which point after a month of fermenting in each vessel, we racked them into a new container, took another gravity reading. They had all finished out every bit of sugar that they had, which was good. And then after letting them sit for about a month longer in glass carboys, you'll note that they only lived in their fermentation vessel for one month. So one month on plastic, one month on stainless steel and glass. And then they all sat in their secondary or after the racking in glass carboys for a month. And then we bottled them. So this brew is really quick, really easy. I didn't do anything to back sweeten them because I wanted to leave them as true as possible. So that's what we did. Now I brought my buddy doing the most or BC, if you know his channel, you should uh, over. He does lots of tests with me and we did a triangle test to test this theory. So I split them out into a bunch of different categories. Essentially, I uh, we did six triangle tests and I'll give you the information and show you how I did them and you'll see the results here in a second. But let's go ahead and jump to the tasting and see if there's any difference between these things. BC, what's your favorite vessel to ferment in? Is it glass, plastic, or stainless steel? I prefer glass. How okay. about you, sir? Um, I don't know. I think that's part of this <laughs> that's test. That's what we're here to that's learn about? That's what we're here to learn about. <laughs> All right. So uh, that's a question I'm sure lots of people have asked. Brewlosophy's done a video on it for beer. Mm -hmm. Figure it'd be interesting to do it for mead. That's we're gonna do a triangle test. A lot of triangle tests on this. So. BC, if you will go ahead and pick one of our cards over here. Okay. And as he's grabbing it, I'll explain. There are six triangle tests we're gonna run through today. We're gonna do the first one live in front of you so you can see it, and then we'll do the other five separate. So we're each getting three meads. Two of them are the same, one is different. Our goal is to try and figure out which one the different one is. And he picked card number C, which is number variation. C. Number C. Letter C. <laughs> I haven't even had any meat yet. This is bad. And uh, so we're gonna go ahead and taste them and try to find the odd man out. And then we will discuss at the end after everything our kind of notes. We won't try and do too much in between. Okay. So let's, here's the example one. Um, let's just taste them and then try to declare. How about okay. that? Okay, I'm going for them, I guess. Original, my gut. Okay. Ready? Odd one out, three, two, one. I think it's number uh, one in this circumstance. Do you think it's two? Uh, let's find out what's true. Open our card. Two. No, two, you got it. Okay, so BC's up one. <laughs> I don't have one Okay. Yet. So, uh, one, oh, yeah. oh, one. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do it five more times. Okay. And then we're gonna come back and I'll tell you the end results. Okay. All right, ready? Number one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> one, one. <laughs> oh, two. <laughs> Yikes. Not going well so far. Two. Woo! You got, got one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I'm starting to see a pattern emerging here. <laughs> Three? Number three. It was two. Two. 
Boom. Okay. <laughs> It was one. Whoa! You got it. Yes. I was between I mean, one and two on that one, but couldn't couldn't really pick him out. I think it's number three. I think it's two. It was one. <laughs> All right, so let's do this. I think we have so, <laughs> some confidence in our results here. Yes. Let's taste them individually real fast and talk about them knowing what we have, and then we'll wrap this up. Reset. Okay, so let's talk about A. A was Glass Carboy. Okay. Let's just taste it. Tell me if you get anything funky, or I guess normal. I mean, I didn't pick up anything funky throughout that whole exercise. Right. I don't get any flavors. There's no like, you know, a part of this is like, I guess I was looking for a plastic flavor. Yeah. Or a stainless steel flavor, but obviously that's not supposed to happen. Yeah. Um, maybe prolonged time on that Plastic. Yeah, that was kind of what know. I was wondering is if like you you age these for a year if we would notice anything particularly different, but It's a good like dry mead. I mean for being young and dry. Yeah, if I had a one gallon uh, <clears throat> Plastic carboy, which I don't even know how you find something like that. water jug. I guess yeah uh, Maybe I would have tried to age them for longer, but uh, B for bucket I feel like there might be no, I was gonna say there's like a brighter note, but they're the same. Yeah, I don't I mean, really it tastes the same to me. And C, stainless steel. <clears throat> yeah, they all have the same profile. And yes, I only did this for a month. It's only a month in that primary, and then moved out into glass carboys mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. sit for another month or two. One interesting fact though was the uh, glass carboy one for some reason was did not clear as well. Hmm. I don't know if there was something about that, but it it took a little longer to clear than the other ones for some reason. So that was an interesting fact. But other than that, virtually identical. Yeah. If they were aged longer, which is maybe the next test, the next variable. You know, if you sit them in a jug, a plastic jug for six months, is there going to be a taste difference? Who knows? Maybe that's the next thing. But I don't have any big notes. I think that you should ferment your stuff in what you got. But then, of course, age, hopefully, age in uh, stainless steel or plastic or something that's not going to get any oxygen inside of the actual liquid. You have any other notes? No, I mean, the, I, I, I guess if anything, what we learned was, at least for primary fermentation, the fermentation vessel doesn't seem to matter as long as mm -hmm. you've got a nice airtight seal and an and a airlock on that. But as far as picking up any off flavors from the fermentation vessel, I don't I don't think we were capable of identifying anything right. unique. Of course, this is with perfect conditions of clean vessel that's not gonna have any bad bacteria and so on and so forth. So you can still run that risk, probably more so with plastic, as I understand, because of when you clean it, sometimes you can scrape it and then yeah. you can get stuff in there. So you're not gonna have that with uh, stainless steel or glass, but don't be afraid of plastic, don't be afraid of stainless steel or glass. Um, Obviously, just firm it with what you got. And uh, I'll do another test that'll be a longer aged. And I'm sure BC will be so excited to come back and taste that one. I love triangle tests. <laughs> so, all right, we'll see you next time. Go check out Do the Most and uh, cheers. Cheers. Cheers.